Hello. And today, I'm Christopher186. And today, we're going to be showing you how to jailbreak an iPhone 4. Yeah, an iPhone 4. So, what you're going to need is, well, it depends on what iPhone 4 you're using. And this is a jailbreak for 6.1.3. And yeah, it's gonna be tethered, so every time you turn it off, you're gonna have to turn it on again by the computer. So, what you're gonna need, since I'm gonna be using an iPhone for GSM, and that one's not really mine, mine is the iPhone 4 CDMA, and uh, that's already jailbroken, but I'm jailbreaking my uncle's iPhone. So, what you're gonna need, since this is gonna be an iPhone for GSM, you're going to need a 6 point, well, not the 6.1.3, but you're going to want to restore probably everything from your phone, but this is not required, but this is the 6.0, okay, 6.0, so go, I'm going to go provide links in, this, in the description below on these IPSWs. No. Yeah. And you're also gonna need Red Snow. So once you download Red Snow, before you do anything, you right click on the application, go to properties, go to compatibility, and check run this program as an administrator and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. And you click apply, then you click OK. Then you double click it. Click yes. And you just wait until your device is connected. See, 6.1.3. And you want to go to extras, select IPSW, and select the 6.01. You're going to need that. That's why you're going to need it. And it's the one that's. Wait, just let me check something. And it's going to be the one corresponded to your device. So, yeah. Sorry, I was just checking something. And it's the three one. So you double click it, and then the following build was identified. iPhone. Blank 6.0 will be used for the rest of the now session. Click OK. Now you want to go back. Now you want to click jailbreak. Now you just wait for this. Now, since I don't have a camera to show you how the iPhone looks like, I will tell you what it should look like. So, right now, your iPhone should look, you know, the same, normal. And you just want to leave that. Don't touch any of these. Don't click them. If you don't know what they are, don't mess around with them. So you click next. And then over here, you want to turn off and put it in DPU mode. If you already know how to do that, just put it, just do it right now. And then you and it's going to go by itself. But for this video, I'm going to go do it. So in my the iPhone right now, it's off. Well, I'm turning it off right now. And you see the next button has been unlocked. Yeah. And so when you click it, you're going to be just prepared to hold the power button like for three seconds. And then you'll see. So you hold the power button for three seconds. And then the home button for ten seconds. Like hold them at the same time. That's what I'm doing right now, and you should see the Apple logo, and I should turn off when it reached 3 seconds. And then, at the third one, you have to release the power button, and keep holding the home button. And you should hear the thing at the 8 seconds, and it should be blank, you should see nothing on your screen. And it's just doing this. And on your screen right now, you should see some type of thing saying downloading jailbreak data and on your computer 
should be uploading kernel RAM disk. And then on the iPhone should be a lot of words. When you click OK. Now just don't touch anything, just wait until your iPhone is done with all that. If you look at your iPhone 4, you see that there's a lot of words, white words. Just don't want to mess around with them. Just don't do anything. And then you just want to stay there until it's done. And then you're going to see a pineapple running with a loading bar. And right now it's saying, it's saying moving applications. And just don't touch, don't touch anything on the red snow. Just leave it on your, just leave it be. Okay, um, I'm going to pause it, and then I'm gonna come back when the moving applications thing is done because it's kind of stuck there right now and I don't know what's up with that okay I'm back and in the phone I had installing bundles and now it turned off now it's on the Apple logo and you just want to wait until it boots up and when and once it boots up you're not ready yet as it says on the red snow you're not going to be ready yet you're going to have to go back and just boot the tether so so on the iphone you just want to slide to unlock In the iPhone, I cannot see Cydia. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back, and every time you turn off your iPhone and turn it back on, it's not gonna turn on. You're gonna have to go to Extras, select IPSW, and select that 6.0. You must select it. No, you must keep it, that's what you need. And then after that, you want to click Just Boot, turn off your iPhone, iPod, I think, iPhone only, I think. And after that, click Next, hold the power button for 3 seconds, then hold the home button for 10 seconds at the same time. And once it reaches 3 seconds, it should turn off. And then on the third one, release the power button, have the home button, and after 8 seconds you should hear the da ding or whatever noise that you should hear on your computer, and you should boot up, well not boot up, but do something on your red snow, and right now it's patching files, exploding with lime rain, um, exploding for stage, Building second stage, waiting for reboot. And on your iPhone, you should see a pineapple, and on the red snow, you should see a kernel and then reboot. And then you should see done. And when you see done, then you know it's ready. And on your iPhone, you should see a pineapple right now that's been eaten. And I think it's gonna turn on right now. It's yep, it turned on. So I'm going to slide to unlock and yes.
Okay, there we go. Before I didn't find Cydia, I had to go to the settings by the app. Then I went out, then I found Cydia. So you should see Cydia in there. So that's how you jailbreak an iPhone 4, CDMA, or GSM on 6.1.3 Tethered. There's going to be no untethered jailbreak for 6.1.3, and if you find one, it's going to be fake. Because they're not working on a 6.1.3, they're working on a 7.0 that's coming out this fall. So when it comes out, there's going to be a jailbreak in like two weeks, I guess. And you know how everyone is with quick jailbreaks release. So yeah, thanks. And just comment, rate, subscribe, and watch my other videos. I do gameplays, tutorials, like this one. And yeah, just see you later.